Hi everyone, this is Hardik from Fuzzing.in. Thank you for watching my videos. In our last video, we have seen what is nuclei and how can we use it to send required traffic for a vulnerability. Before that, we have also seen how can we use vulnerable to create dockerized vulnerable environment. So in today's video, we are going to see how can we combine both and create a vulnerable environment using Vulnub and how can we use nuclear templates to send the required traffic. We will also see how can we generate the uh, traffic and how can we capture the traffic. So let's start. Okay, so in this case, we are going to see a uh, recent CV which is in uh, Jenkins and that is uh, a arbitrary file rate vulnerability uh, below version 2.441 and the CV ID for this is CVE 2024-23897. So as you can see, you can actually search for this particular nuclei uh, template for this vulnerability. Uh, you, if you do a simple Google search, you will uh, land to this URL. It is actually uh, on the project discovery and you can check the uh, URL over here. And uh, uh, if you see what this template does, so if we simply go through it one by one, uh, there is some information uh, uh, section where it gives the information about the vulnerability that is a arbitrary file written in Jenkins and author who has written this template, what is the severity that is critical uh, description. And uh, there are some reference URL as well. There are some uh, metadata. Uh, if you want to search for all the Jenkins installation, you can simply use Shodan query that is product Jenkins. And uh, uh, then you can see variable uh, payload. So you can see some payload over here, which is hex decode. So let us see uh, what this uh, hex payload does. So we will actually uh, use cyber chef for this. So let's see. Uh, I have simply copied the input over here and let's see from hex I can double click on that so you can see that uh, when we decode this from hex you can see it is like there are some uh, plain uh, texting like connect node and then add the red etc password and UTF encoding and this is also the language so the vulnerability is that if you give something with the add direct it will actually read this file and it will give this in the response so this is the vulnerability and uh, uh, if you see uh, there is some javascript code over here so it is basically using some nuclei net uh, uh, over here and then uh, it is trying to open a connection over here so uh, when the connection is successful it sends this post request that is cli uh, question mark remoting is equal to false and these are the HTTP header. So there are two requests connection one connection two in the second request it will send uh, post CLI reporting is equal to false and uh, over here the, it is uh, side is equal to I, I think the value is download and over here it is uh, upload and if we see where this uh, payload is going so if you can see that is going inside the body uh, when the post request goes uh, it will send this payload in the body and host is your host name and the rest is self explanatory so uh, what we can do is that in the official uh, repo it is not uh, present so we can simply copy this we can select all and uh, let us go to our machine and you can go to the nuclei templates directly so you can go to my previous video where I have shown how can uh, you install nuclei and where uh, it will download all the templates so by default it will download all the templates to your home directory and nuclei dash templates uh, directory so uh, you need to go to http then cvs and 2024 and over here if you do ls uh, you will see that this file is not present so what you can do is that you can simply uh, create a file and you can simply copy paste all the code from this uh, website which uh, we have found over here you can simply copy this code and you can paste it over here so I have already done that on my system so this is the template and you can actually save it and after that you need to create the vulnerable environment so for that we will uh, use Valhub and uh, on my system I already have this Valhub so you can actually do a jet pool and when you run jet pool what it will do is that it will update your Valhub to the latest uh, uh, all the latest CVs uh, environment so uh, after you do jit pull, you can simply go to uh, Jenkins uh, directory. Let me print the current directory. So you can go to Jenkins directory and you can go to this particular CV URL that is CV 2024-23897. And when you go here, you can see that it has a Docker compass 
dot uh, yml so if you open and see you uh, we can see that it has version that is uh, 2.2 uh, then there is jenkins it downloads this particular version 2.441 uh, and uh, then there are a couple of ports so uh, and then debug is equal to 1 so it is a very simple docker compose file and now what you can do you can simply run docker compose up dash d uh, now in some docker versions you need to run docker space compose and in some version you need to run docker dash compose up d so depending on whatever uh, installation you have done you can uh, run this command and when you run this command you can see that it uh, launches the particular docker uh, container over here so in my case i have i am already running it so that's why you do not, did not see much message over here you can simply see that it is up to date now how we can taste it that it is working uh, we can simply open a web browser and we can open localhost port 8080 over here and you can see that it is a jenkins installation right so you can actually go and see like there are admin user uh, there is a system user there is build history uh, there are different things so our uh, jenkins installation is working perfectly fine over here and now what we can do is that uh, we can use our nuclei template to send the traffic for the particular vulnerability so the command is straightforward as we have seen in our last video the command is nuclei dash t and followed by the cv template so i am running it from the uh, the cv directory itself so i, I have given uh, directly the file name otherwise you need to give the full path of this template over here and dash u that is our uh, website or our uh, uh, target and the target is localhost and the port is 8080 and before we hit enter we can start tcp dump on uh, another terminal window so uh, the command is sudo tcp dump dash i uh, allo means local uh, uh, host and uh, our local adapter and dash w and uh, uh, the file name which you want to give so let's hit enter and uh, you can see that it is capturing the traffic now we can press enter over here so that nuclei template will get executed and it will send the traffic required traffic to the our uh, uh, jenkins installation and you can see that uh, we see some output from the nuclei uh, like cv2724 23897 uh, javascript critical and there is some message over here so let's not worry about that we will see if we are able to capture the required traffic or not so let's press control c we can see that uh, it has captured some 76 packets so let us open this with the wireshark and see what we get so inside the wireshark if we simply do a filter for http we can see that there are some post requests over here right and we can go through them one by one so over here you can see that uh, it is actually printing our etc password file over here okay now let us verify if this output which we got from etc password file is actually from the vulnerable docker uh, container so what we can do is that let us see the list of docker container and we can see that there is a uh, docker container with uh, uh, this particular id so we will simply copy this and now we need to run a command uh, basically docker exec uh, dash it and your container id so uh, let us paste this command this id over here and uh, we can run bash over here right so now you can see that we are inside the docker uh, container we are running a shell over there and we can simply do cat etc password and uh, if you see it over here the first is uh, root x 0 then d1 and uh, then there are pin there are sys uh, and uh, there are jenkins and all those things over here so uh, if we see it over here so there is a uh, uh, root over here and uh, then there is uh, mail x added over here where mail over here you can see uh, over here uh, user pin no login and then uh, there is one called backup as well so if we see the backup one it is over here x34 backup and also you can see that all the contents from the uh, etc password file is getting displayed over here so this exploitation is successful uh, you can even see for jenkins it is over here and jenkins i think we have seen 
it uh, over here yeah right, over here the jenkins home and everything is same so uh, we can see that the vulnerable uh, uh, jenkins uh, uh, sending all the content of etc password file and this vulnerability expedition was successful and we are also able to capture the required traffic for that so uh, it means that our vulnerability uh, expedition has worked perfectly fine so this is how you can combine nuclei templates uh, you can use nuclei templates to send malicious traffic to uh, exploit particular vulnerability you can also use valhub image for uh, that so it makes uh, replication uh, of vulnerability very easy and uh, uh, i hope uh, you have liked this video so this is how we use valhub uh, with uh, nuclei and uh, it makes it very easy to replicate any vulnerability for which the template is available and for which the docker image is available on the valhub I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe, like and share my videos. Also, if you have any comments, queries or doubts, feel free to post in the comment section. Till the next video, stay safe, enjoy, goodbye. Thank you.